Wednesday evening, 6th of January, um, our first full day of lockdown. We've come a long way in the 48 hours uh, since the announcement from the Prime Minister. Um, children who came in today, um, I think it's fair to say we're a little bit anxious, things were different, and they did absolutely fantastically. Um, the rooms are opened up, so we've got more space in there, and spacing is put into place. And obviously they're working in some of those rooms in the... Um, at the same time as those working from home. Staff have worked incredibly hard. I have to thank all staff. Uh, so that Breakfast Club has been completely rescheduled uh, um, uh, for those who are coming on key work. Um, and um, again, done incredibly safely uh, and lunches and, and everything. So I, I'm, I'm really proud of what the team have done. Um, essentially, now we are in a position where, as of tonight, 95% of people have got their packs. We've got a couple more, uh, I know, being picked up tomorrow. So uh, it's 110 packs that have been printed off. We will send that out again. If you've requested it, don't ask again. We'll just assume that you need it. Um, but if you would like your uh, children's work pack or work to be printed off, please let us know. Um, you know, we, we are incredibly keen to uh, help with that. Um, the website, again, uh, is set up so that uh, work is accessible there uh, and, and support on there. And there are, uh, on that um, home learning page, there's hundreds of websites, again, you know, that you might want to access or, or what have you. Um, we're really working very hard um, to make sure that the packs are ready to be put up on the website uh, on uh, Friday. And fingers crossed, if we can get it done, we'll also have them printed, ready to be delivered and um, collected on Friday as well. It's taken about three and a half hours to print them off. So it's just as long as we can turn it round. Uh, big ask for the team, but uh, we will try and do that as, as well. And we'll try, therefore, to have it ready, end of every week and with you, so you're ready to go on a Monday. In terms, terms of the online learning, um, started today we are working our way around it and finding different ways of it doing we know there's a few issues around the chat box um and i've never seen so many emojis in, in one of the classes which i think we've we've now <laughs> got rid of and it's also i know that you know the children very excited down there were there were you know some that the teachers came back and they've been chatting all break time but of course they're, they're away from each other so we're learning um to manage it um I know there are some issues about accessing files and file size, and we're working hard on that. Um, it, the issue we've got is we're trying to make things that are accessible live and later on, and therefore they need a commentary on them. That makes the size of the file big, but we're working on that. Um, I have found out by somebody from somebody much younger than me that you can access... Um, teams on the playstation or the xbox and i'll put instructions out uh in the next email i send uh and i'll put that on twitter as well and that, that therefore will be on the front page of the website um don't really understand that sort of stuff but apparently it's easy to do um we are looking um at how we can work with those who are working on different devices and i'll come on to devices later on and also how we label work on the website we are changing it so if there are things that work really well for you let us know if there are things that don't work uh, also let us know i think one of the things that we are finding is the chat is going through really quickly so if something's coming up there's an issue i think our suggestion is to email to that year group email address because it can get lost very quickly and i know that's frustrating um likewise the hands up can be missed as well so um, we're just waiting final decisions and uh, nationally in terms of what will happen in terms of free school meals, in terms of uh, food pack. But uh, I think that uh, as long as the government allow it, we will be looking um, at going down the vouchers route. We're also working very closely with the food larder um, and they, they will be able to support that and supplement. Also, again, my uh, regular plea, we know how tough this is. We know we've got um, more furlough coming. We know we've got potential redundancies within the community. You know, it, it, well, uh, all communities, not, you know, that the, 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 the people are going to be struggling. Please do not do that in silence. 
um, contact me or Mrs. Rocha or contact the food larder. Again, we'll put full details out. The food larder is getting so many donations that at the moment they are really able to help. So um, we've already had a phone call from Father Jonathan today, which is really positive. Um, so um, a couple of other things uh, to go through. Um, so we are currently looking through, thank you to those who have filled in the form. On the letter, there was a link uh, to click if you need support around uh, hardware or getting online. Um, I've had some offers from local charity. Um, we have got some email, um, some laptops coming through from the DFE Department of Education. So we'll have some more to share with those. Should have some tablets as well. Um, there is a national scheme that's gaining a bit of ground in terms of offers from um, mobile phone uh, network providers, giving you free data um, during this period or half data. Um, so again, I'll, I'll put information out about that. Um, I, um, I'm aware I'm throwing a lot of videos out and a lot of emails and letters because we're trying to keep you informed. Um, I don't know if it would be useful uh, maybe at the start of next week once we've got absolute clarity about how we're using um, Teams and all the different areas. I'm very ho happy to hold a Teams meeting that people can ask questions um, or we'll have somewhere where you can send questions in. Um, you know, We are doing our absolute best um, to provide the best education we can for your children, whether in school, whether they're learning live, whether they're using the work packs. So we will have information how you can drop work off so the teachers can see those and done in a safe way and also to collect work. Um, but please, I do not want to be in a position that in February, people are then wishing they'd spoken to us about something that, that wasn't working very well. So I'm very happy to do what whatever um, is needed. Um, to, to support you with that. Um, I would then um, d just say the, 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 the last bit is that um, we will continue to send information out. If we um, have announced that something will happen, I've asked for your views on it, for example, do you, know, do you want the printed packs or dinners, please don't ring us to ask if they're ready. We will email or ring um, to... Um, let you know when things are ready. What we are finding, uh, for example, today, we were having a lot of phone calls about the packs, that the phone calls being answered by the people who are printing off the packs, which was slowing down the process. So um, we will make sure that we get information uh, out to you. Um, it's all a very anxious time at the moment. And what we're trying to do through communicating so often on these wonderful uh, videos um, is to make sure that you have as much information as possible. If you don't understand something, ring us or email. Now, again, emails that are coming to my account, I'm not always seeing them because I had, uh, I've had 700 emails over the last three days. So it's just flying through. So again, if I've missed them, email again or, or to the inquiries uh, account. But if we can help you in any way, please uh, do, um, uh, do talk to us. We uh, are looking at how we can really maintain that contact between class teacher and through uh, to pupils who are at home. We will be looking at phone calls because we know how valuable those were. Um, we are looking at ways we can use uh, Miss Morris and the pastoral team to support children. We are looking at some small group work as well uh, for some children. I know some of the drawing and talking group are hopefully doing some stuff together. I know that uh, we're looking at um, the way that Triangle are working as well. So we we are changing and evolving every everything we do um, constantly. So um, please uh, do um, keep talking to us. Do keep um, pointing at ways we can help you, and we'll see how we uh, get on with that. And. Uh, I will put another video out on Friday at the end of that week, end of the week, let you know how things are. Hopefully I'll get them down to under uh, five minutes. Um, but please stay safe. Please look after yourself. Um, please do make sure that your child is engaging with the online learning or the learning that's available or through the packs. Um, 
the Secretary of State was really clear today in Parliament that he expects us to engage with all pupils. So I will then be being put under pressure from the Department of Education to evidence I've done that. Now, the reason I'm doing it to get in touch and to push the children is because I want the very best for your kids, not because uh, we're being told to do it. But um, therefore, if you're getting a call, it's not because we're being grumpy or horrible. It's because this is an expectation. So uh, stay safe. Look after yourselves. I'd be really interested in views if it would be useful to have a Teams meeting. We got uh, 120 different logins in um, for the assembly. I will send one link out. I completely messed that up and that's my fault. I do apologise. That will be sorted. But assemblies at 1.30 every day. Um, and uh, love to see you there. Thanks ever so much. Speak to you soon. Thanks.